Well, Steve, today's the day. Um, what's the plan? Well, it's uh, six o'clock in the morning now. Uh, we decided we want to get up put nice and early, uh, get down to the news agents and buy the Beano before they all sell out. Okay, brilliant. Which one are we going to go to first? I'm going to try Andy's, I think. Okay. Cool. Fingers crossed. Okay, let's get shoes on. Soon. Lock and load. Hit the road. Boom time. Steve. Fingers crossed. Well, I don't know where Steve learned to drive, but let's just say I hope his instructor isn't still out there teaching people how to pass their tests. Okay, let's see if they've got it. Apparently this week's issue has got a review of the new Mazda in it, and I'm quite keen to find out what they think. No Beano. Maybe we should, should have tried next door. Okay, I'll try next door. Last week there was a two-parter of the Bass Street Kids. I really wanted to find out the conclusion. Who's this chap? Oh, Steve? No. Not Steve. Here's Steve. Closing the door behind him. I wonder if he managed to get a copy of the Beano. Maybe. He might have hit it under his jacket so it doesn't get wet. There has been about 2.4 millimetres today. No, no, be no. Okay. At this point, I was considering getting the dandy instead. No look here. Let's try somewhere else. Do you think they're really going to have it in bargain booze? <laughs> there's, there's a good chance. Okay. I know they're here. That's a good easy people. reading section. Didn't have it. No, Venus. It's the worst day ever. I mean, what was that? Why would a shop like that not have the Beano? It was it was just ridiculous, and at that stage of the day, it's just our heads began to drop. It, it, what really was the hard work. Steve, can you believe they didn't have the Beano here? I'm shocked.
fingers crossed for the next place, eh? Crossing fingers. Well, it's one o'clock now. We still haven't found one. But I'm sure they must have it in here. I'll have a look. Sold out. I should have gone on Thursday. I'd say up until about two o'clock, we were we were pretty confident we were going to be able to get the Beano, but things got more and more more and more strained as the day went on. And I don't know. I think I think the reality started to hit us by about five past two. Steve, did you manage to get the Beano? Steve, Steve. Oh, sorry. Right. by mistake and quite frankly I was embarrassed because I'd meant to buy the Beano. Oh I think you might have it. He's bought it. Got it. You got it, nice one. Got it. Oh what's it say? That's not the Beano Rob. Oh, no. I'll take it back. Anyway, as luck would have it, yeah. someone from one of the news agents who went to earlier was just been in touch with Steve and says that they think they've got some Beano's in stock. That'll do nicely, yeah. We'll, um, we'll be right over. But you should have five. Okay. Not one. Step on it. Past five, they stayed open just six for minutes, and I've, I've got it. Good work, Rob. You're a hero. Thanks. What's in it this week? Uh, Yogi Bear. It's funnier than the average comic. Um, still, I'm in Bristol. Oh, Vino VIP. Have they done? Have they printed mine? There oh, it is. There it is. <laughs> the three bears. Absolutely delighted. I just cut. I couldn't have asked for more at that moment. Um, and I'm reading it. I'm, I'm still, still reasonably pleased. It's um, well. Steve's picture of the three bears is here. What more can I say? Great. Mm. Interesting stuff. Yeah. Not really. 